Hey guys, it's Katie, and today's workout is gonna focus on getting rid of back fat. You can thank Jessica M and Lizeth V and all the other girls who asked for this one. This workout's gonna be great because we're always thinking about our abs and our booty, but we don't always stop to think about the areas we can't see like our back. Not only will it get rid of that bra bulge, no one likes that, but it also is gonna help with your overall posture, your alignment, and when you're done with this workout, if you wanna continue working on your posture, I'll put a link below to my perfect posture video. You should definitely go check that out. You're not gonna need any equipment, but if you wanna take it up a level, grab a two or three pound set of dumbbells, nothing crazy. I know you're gonna love this workout, and I got your back. We're gonna do it together, so let's get started on the mat. All right, girls, so the first move we're gonna do is target that upper back. So on your knees, draw the belly button and keeping the core nice and tight always, right? This is the first thing we always wanna check in with. From here, just hinge forward slightly. So you're gonna stick your booty back just a little bit, keep pulling that belly in, and then pull your shoulders back and together. So if you're using weights, you're just gonna grab the light weights in your hand. Otherwise, bring your hands together. We're gonna do a variation of a reverse fly. So on the exhale, I want you to bring your arms out, keeping the palms facing each other and the shoulders pull down. So it's easy to want to like crunch them up here. Don't let it happen. Pull them down, keep them locked in and squeeze the shoulder blades together, bringing the hands back in. And now this time, flip the palms to face the floor and squeeze. So we're gonna just alternate there. Palms together, out, in, then down. Yep, together, out, in, palms down. Together, yep, keep them facing each other, good. And down, together, out, in, down. Just keep moving here. If you have those weights, again, just holding them in your hands. Keep that little bend in the elbow. Good. Keep squeezing. Find that little pause at the back to squeeze the shoulder blades and check in with those shoulders. Make sure they're pulled down and back. Good. Out. In. Back. A few more here. Because we're not using the weights, we're going to go a few higher reps. But if you have the weights, maybe try 15. So one whole round is going to be the palms together, and then the palms facing down. Good. Down, in, back. Keep going. Down, in, back. Yes, I know. You're starting to feel those in the shoulders for sure. So really focus on that back side. Squeeze. Down. Good. Just keep switching. Out. A few more here. Woo! I feel that burn. Good. Back and in. Let's do four more. Yep, three, squeeze, belly tight for two, out, and last one. Good, and shake off those shoulders. Woo. Maybe take a quick little stretch in between. Nice. The next move we're gonna do I call plank pockets, and you'll totally get why I call them that in a second. So come to your plank, just a full plank, step the feet back, palms press into the mat, your shoulders and wrists are in one straight line, Draw the belly button in nice and tight. Keep the crown of the head long. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. And from here, you're gonna exhale, find your balance. Bring that right hand up to the pocket and then press it down. And then the left. Now, if you don't have pockets in your yoga pants, which you probably don't, just wherever you would picture pockets and jeans being, right on the hips, up with the right, left, good. Now, as you bring it up, I want you to squeeze the shoulder blades. Squeeze. Good. Working into the triceps as well. Good. You're going to feel this in the entire body pretty quick. Trying to keep those hips nice and level. Don't let them tip. You don't want them like flipping over like that. Nice and level. Keep going. Right. Left. Squeeze. Let's do four more. For three. Two, you got it. Last one on each side. Woo! And quick break. Shake it out. All right, our next move is gonna be a side crunch. So come onto your left side body. Palm is gonna press into the mat. Your left knee is your foundation. Bring that right leg out long. And from here, just reach your right arm overhead. Exhale, squeeze the elbow down into the side. You are gonna feel this exactly where that bra bulge happens, so you know it's working. Reach up and squeeze, yes. Now as you reach up, palm is gonna face away from your body, and as you bring the elbow in, make a fist and draw it in towards your face. Squeeze, good, out, in, and out. Breathe, 
Good, let's do 10. Nine, check in with that core. Eight, seven, six. Awesome, and if you are using the weight, just really be careful on the extension here. For three, two, and squeeze. Good, let it go, switch sides. So this time, right palm is your foundation. Stretch that left leg out long. Reach high overhead. Exhale, elbow in tight. Now I want you to try to literally like drive it behind you toward your back and that hip. Reach out and squeeze in. Out and in, good. Now if you're watching this and you haven't started yet, this is the perfect time to jump in because you are gonna feel this like no other. It doesn't look like it's crazy, but it is. In, good, reach, squeeze. Let's do 10, nine, eight, seven. Oh my goodness, six, five. Yes, you got it. For four, three, last two. And we're gonna hold on one, squeeze it tighter, 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 and let it go. Good. So we're gonna come onto our bellies for our very last move. So come all the way down onto your mat. I want you to bring your arms out long in front of you. Now your legs are gonna just stay right where they are the entire time. So reach in your arms, let your chest and head come down to the mat. Then exhale, I want you to squeeze the shoulder blades, bring the elbows together and lift the chest up off the mat. You are gonna feel this along that entire upper back. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, squeeze and pause. Good, down and up. Down, squeeze. Trying to get as high as you can go. Keep the tops of the feet on the floor. Out, squeeze. Lower, and lift. Let's do 10. Nine, exhale, lift. Eight. Good, ladies, keep going. For six. Five. Four, and when we get to one, we're gonna hold it at the top. Last two, and one, hold it up, squeeze. Now bring those elbows tighter together, tight. Squeeze, squeeze, tighter. Woo. Keep going, you're gonna really feel those muscles engaging, squeeze it together. For 10, nine, eight, seven, you got it. Six, five, yes you can. Three, two, hold it for one, and let it go. Woo. Come back into a child's pose. Let it all go. Release that low back stretch out through the shoulders. And just breathe. Amazing job, girls. Make sure you comment below if you love this workout. Give it a thumbs up. I would definitely recommend doing this at least one time, 15 to 20 reps of each move. And honestly, I would add it in every single day because you cannot work that backside too much. And another huge thank you to all you girls who asked for this video. I hope you loved it. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you subscribe because I have new stuff for you every single Monday. And don't forget, good things come to those who sweat. So I'll see you next week for another amazing workout. Bye.